what's going on y'all so welcome back to my channel it's me your girl leah lee if you are new to my channel thank you so much for clicking on this video if you are returning thank you so much as well so you are all here because of the thumbnail because of the title of course um so simply put march 1st of this year i went to the doctor to get an annual checkup and also had some concerns you know towards my period i had began having two periods in a month and it had been happening from i think around november december up until i actually went to the doctor so you know that was a good amount of time to be having those periods and my cramps had became even more excruciating than they already are so i regularly have a period that's really seven full days and heavy bleeding heavy clotting when i did go to the doctor I expressed everything that I just shared with you guys and he was like, okay, would you like to do an ultrasound so we can see if anything else is going on down there that I'm not able to see through a pap smear? I said, great, that sounds good. We ended up doing that the same day, literally maybe 30 minutes later, he seen a polyp. A little information on polyps for anyone who isn't really aware of what they are. Think of them as skin tags in the lining or on the lining of the uterus these can prevent pregnancies these can interrupt just the natural um, flow of menstrual cycles this can cause you know a lengthy list of issues but there's still no medical proof to prove that you know a lot of situations can be caused by polyps but there is a lot of like you know, medical talk and concern with them because they're abnormal. They're not normal to have them. He gave me some options to um, have it removed or basically have it stay there and see what happens and just keep an eye on it. And he thought it would be a great idea to get it removed. I thought that would be a great idea to get it removed as well. And we scheduled it for maybe, I think, a month out april 26 was my original surgery date this is simply where the video begins so i shared with y'all that i was going to let y'all know how the doctor's appointment went and etc when i left out and so here were my guidelines and basically before day of and after kind of what to you know be ready for and um so my dog basically told me to eat light eat lightly before and after the procedure not to you know eat too heavy because some people do get nauseous on the high pain medicine the high you know prescribed pain medicine now i am one of those people who get sick off of medicine so um he did prescribe a medicine that kind of you know fights against the nausea i don't take those until i actually go in to the doctor's office but he did tell me to take 800 milligram ibuprofen so i took that it's 1255 and i have to be at the doctor's office at 2 and i took the medicine probably at 12 30. um of course this procedure is a minor procedure it's not really invasive so i'm looking down at my phone so if y'all see me looking down at my phone I'm trying to make sure that i mention everything that's why um as well he told me to if i do have bleeding which i probably will it probably will last the length of my my, my menstrual cycle which is kind of depressing because y'all know i have extremely rough menstrual menstrual cycles hence this procedure so that's like seven days that i wasn't expecting you know what I'm saying that i'm putting myself in the mindset to be um you know bleeding so or spotting or you know even cramps blow pressure all of that he said that typically the procedure takes about 45 minutes and it is being done of course in my my you know my doctor's office i had the choice to get it done in the hospital but i just didn't think that that was necessary if I could do it at the office. Another thing he mentioned how the procedure works, right? Because I know anyone that is looking up this type of procedure is wanting to know, is this the exact procedure that they are getting? That there's going to be some type of numbing medicine inserted into the vagina, of course, to the uterus. 
I'm not sure if it's like a spray or gel or like a shot. I don't know. So that has kind of got me like. But yeah, so no sex, no pools, no jacuzzi, no working out until my follow-up appointment. That's about it, y'all. This procedure, as mentioned, is called a hysteroscopy polypectomy. Another question I did have was, what if we do, you know, we get ready for the procedure, the procedure starts, and then the polyp is gone. And I'm like... What happens then? And he was like, you know, that that can happen. But in the case of that, then, you know, we, they just stop. The procedure stops. But in the case if there's like more than one, which he said is very common, he just removes all of them. And I'm like, okay, cool. That's good to know as well. I'll let y'all know when I'm in the car on my way to the doctor. What's up, you guys? It is Thursday, 11.45 on Thursday. I have a major update to give y'all that um, I didn't do on Monday when I actually received the news. So being that my doctor works, of course, with many clients, many that are pregnant, many that are not, um, he actually had to deliver a baby on Monday, basically around the same time of my procedure. Simply put, you guys, the procedure was rescheduled to today at two o'clock and i've actually gone out to run to the store and came back it's one o'clock right now and um so i'm about to go ahead and go over to the doctor's office finally make sure i get checked in i don't really have to fill out any paperwork if i do that i'm going to be there early and we're going to go from there so today is the day yeah if y'all have any questions y'all know what to do drop them all in the comment section if you feel like it's a little too tmi Y'all are definitely welcome to DM me on my Leah Lee Instagram or my Glam by Leah Lee Instagram. You know, just mention that you are, you know, kind of have some questions from this video. So, I just took my medicine, you guys. I'm at the doctor's and um, so I took two of the pain medicines and one of the medicine to um, basically fight against the nausea. We're just waiting right here for the medicine to kick in and then we'll be beginning shortly on the procedure. And then of course afterwards then I'll be headed home and I'll probably definitely chill for the rest of the The reason I shared this photo is to give you a diagram of what is going on during this procedure. So you see my cervix, that is where he dilated and made it open up. And the uterus lining is what the polyp was attached to. That was what, what was removed. And the scraping that took place as well. So you guys, I'm home. The procedure went well. And like I said, I'm home on the couch. Very, very comfy. And I do have a heating pad on my belly. Just to help with any like random cramps or like unpleasant feelings. So the procedure how did it feel sorry off my lips are chapped that procedure was something definitely for the books i've never felt anything like that in my life or had to you know experience anything like that before oh y'all it was painful i looked at so many different videos of so many other ladies that you know pretty much had the same procedure done and a lot of them were like oh it wasn't bad like it wasn't this it wasn't that and i'm like did we have the same procedure? Yeah, it was extremely weird to say the least. Um, the pressure, the everything. It was just so uncomfortable, you guys. If y'all have any questions, like I mentioned before, y'all could definitely leave it down in the comments or message me privately. Um, I'm going to rest for a bit. I just had some soup. Um, Doc said to keep it light for the next two hours, even into the evening, you know, until the medicine wears off, of course. Um, so I'm just on the couch resting. I'm going to probably doze off in a little bit. I'll probably pick up tomorrow to let y'all know how I feel. You guys, it has been some time. I have to break down a lot to y'all because today is literally the two-week checkup follow-up appointment after the procedure 
<clears throat> excuse me so let's rewind this thing right quick back to the day after the procedure i said that i was going to continue to vlog and i really just got lazy so pain level after the actual procedure date and the procedure itself i had literally like zero pain in the following days after the procedure i did have um some spotting it was extremely light i had more so this is gonna be tmi for all those once again that aren't really in to hear all the gory details you may want to click out but i did have more of like a fluid discharge it wasn't like foul smelling it wasn't anything it was like literally like just clear fluid mixed with blood that was coming out so of course i already knew that that was from the procedure so that was normal it does say like online i did hear from my doctor that five to ten days after the procedure you could still be experiencing some type of period like symptoms and I knew that's what it was. And I did. And I'm going to share that with my doctor today. Because I'm literally, literally outside of the doctor's office. So uh, fast forward to it's supposed to be my period. Now I keep track of my period on my period tracker app. My period came on Sunday. This past Sunday, March. I mean March. May 9th. Okay. I was cramping a little bit up to that day my period actually came on i know like we don't include spotting we don't do include any of that we actually include like the days where you actually are like legit having your menstrual cycle now my menstrual cycle this month was like three days for real for real now i didn't have much clotting i didn't have much heavy blood flow like I normally would and I of course I'm going to automatically resort that back to the procedure that makes sense right so I'm going to bring that up to my doctor today um, I'm going to also bring up when I can start having intercourse I'm going to bring up when is a good time that I can go into like pools jacuzzis um, the beach all of these things I'm going to get like a confirmation on today and I'm also going to ask is my period going to be a norm being much lighter y'all oh my goodness I was talking to my boo and telling him this and I'm just like if this is like my new and improved period boy I'm gonna be so happy <laughs> I was like oh my goodness like three days of literally nothing now today will be considered the fifth day of my cycle and i'm not really sure where to cut it off on my period calendar because i'm like technically i'm still spotting here and there but it's nothing like a regular period like nothing you know what i'm saying so it's still kind of still like that fluid um and i don't know i don't know if that's normal i don't know i feel like it is because it doesn't have like a foul smell it doesn't have like a weird color it's literally like clear or like pink so or like clearish pinkish so i'm gonna talk to him today i'm gonna get some answers and i'm going to relay them back to y'all and this is really where i'm going to wrap this video up after this uh appointment today so i'm so excited we made it through we made it through you guys because all i keep having are flashbacks to that procedure and that procedure y'all was traumatic that mess hurt and i asked my sister because my sister is going through some issues right now she had previously had like a scraping of the vagina area as well like the uterus and she told me that that mess hurt but i know i have a much higher pain tolerance than her so i'm like okay i'm gonna keep an open mind but at the same time be cautious like this may cause some pain some discomfort and y'all it literally was the worst pain i'm gonna try to describe it a little bit better now because the day of i just could not gather the words to describe what that felt like um it was literally like i don't know if y'all have ever felt something in your uterus or your cervix i don't know what causes it at this particular moment but it was literally like the pain where your cramps are coming on and the scraping it's like it's they start off really slow cramps and then it gets intense and then it gets intense and then it gets intense to the point where you're like ah like what is that <laughs> and that's literally how it feels and you just literally want to 
roll into a ball and just like please stop this somehow and so I was asking her I'm like oh my goodness is that what labor feels like and she was like that's exactly what it feels like but like a hundred times worse and I'm just like oh no <laughs> where they do that at but yeah y'all let me go ahead and get up in here it's nine it's 9 48 um soon to be 10 o'clock almost 10 o'clock 9 50 and I'm gonna get up here, let these ladies know that I'm here. You guys, I got good news. Let me back this up. Am I zoomed in right now? Wowzers, why am I so close? There we are, there we are. You guys, I just got out of my appointment that fast. It's 10 16. Run down really quickly during the procedure. The doctor took a sample of the, you know, the tissue that was down there, uh, the polyp. Um, they did a biopsy on it and the lab came back benign, which is awesome news. The only other option or other way that it would have come back is cancerous and we do not want that anywhere in this desserty okay <laughs> so that's awesome news sorry my memory card had ran out of space i received the green light you guys to resume normal activities i've kind of been working out like already extremely hard um but he did give me the green light to go ahead and continue to work out all the other things intercourse the beach everything resumed normal life activities as previous um so i'm just so happy so thrilled that this like it has passed and i have overcome this and all those great things now a little bit of details on the period he did say he was like well you know during the procedure when i did the scraping of the uterus he was like he basically took out the, the the lining of the uterus at that point so i'm like oh that makes sense because it was so damn painful and he was like yeah so your next real period is going to be next month and we'll see how everything goes from there and i'm like oh okay that makes sense so this one was just easy breezy beautiful cover girl like oh okay that makes sense that makes sense <laughs> so that's why this cycle was so shorter but like i said i had to be because of the procedure he just broke it down to me why it was you know the way it is so i'm finished i'm done with this video the vlog is wrapped up if you have any questions feel free to drop them down below if you want to dm me personally feel free to please 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 dm me at leah lee do not dm me on glam by leah lee that is only for aesthetics only for estheticians um and please just email me or email me do that too email me or hit me up on my lily instagram i love y'all so much i will be back with another video soon this is finished we're finished you guys it's finally finally finished so finished bye